Hello, Goal Getter. Tony Woodall, your host for Goal Getting Podcast and Goal Getter Word of the Day. Glad to have you back today. We are going to be talking about my quote that I use a lot, which is, don't let your mind play goalie for the other team. The reason I came up with that quote was because I had watched the World Cup recently, and I'd never been involved or watched much soccer. I just wasn't that interested, and it seemed very boring. I recently had become friends with a lot of Brazilians, and we know Brazil is one of the best soccer countries in the world, and they are very big with soccer, and they are fans like you wouldn't believe. The I lived in San Francisco, and it's amazing how big soccer is here, but it's a very international city, a lot more international than where I grew up and was raised in Atlanta. The best part about being in San Francisco is that diversity of all the different cultures, but soccer is very big here in San Francisco. All of the clubs and uh, sports bars and everything were just filled to the brim during World Cup, and World Cup actually was very exciting. I went with some of my Brazilian and French and other friends that I've met here in San Francisco, and we watched it at the Civic Center. They actually had a huge screen up to watch the World Cup one day. Actually, several days. I just happened to go one day, but we went and watched a match, and I was just taken by that, and the thought about uh, you know, watching that and you run down the field from your side and you kick that ball and you hit it with your head and you go down this field and you get close and you make this fantastic shot on goal and then the goalie just kind of jumps up and whack, knocks that out with his hand and just knocks that ball right out of the goal. You went almost, you know, 100 yards or meters or whatever it is in soccer and it just, you thought you were almost there and it just knocked it right out of the goal and you just lost and start all over again. And that kind of resonates with our teaching at the Goal Getting Podcast where we talk about, you know, our subconscious mind and how it can develop limiting beliefs or these negative thoughts that keep you from being successful and from achieving your goals. And there's many times where we can be out there and try and try to do what we want to do to be successful. We can set goals. We can do the things we want. And as soon as we get to a point where we think we're almost ready to go, our subconscious mind can sometimes play goalie for the other team and just kind of whack, knock that ball as you're trying to go into the get that goal and just kill your dreams and, you know, make you start all over again, it seems. It can really do that. And, you know, we can't let our mind be the goalie for the other team. You have to take control of your subconscious mind. You have to do things that help you overcome and turn those negative limiting beliefs in your subconscious mind into positive goal-getting, goal-seeking, success-oriented thoughts and not limiting beliefs but achieving beliefs. And that's what we teach you at the Goal Getting Podcast. And we want you to continue with us and keep learning how to have your subconscious mind play goalie for your team and let your goals get in for you, but not for the other team and not to block your goals. So don't let your mind play goalie for the other team. Achieve your goals, get your goals in that net. Let's all score. So go out and get the goals you set. Have a great day. This is Tony Woodall for Goal Getting Podcast. If you're not listening to our regular weekly show, please do. If you like what you're hearing, please go out on iTunes, leave us a review and a rating. We would certainly appreciate it. We enjoy speaking with you. Keep up the great work on your goals, and let's go out and get the goals you set. Have a great day, or as I like to say, make it a great day.